<clears throat> okay, my people. So uh, once again, the goal here is whoops is to uh, find the area of uh, this kite. And it looks like um, we have to know the properties of a kite. And it looks like the only clue they're telling us here is um, the perimeter of the kite is 214. And then I see some additional uh, clues in here about uh, the angles and some of the sides. So uh, let's piece together a lot that's going on. First of all, you have to know that the diagonals of a kite will always be perpendicular. That's going to produce nice right triangles, so we can ultimately use some shortcuts in Pythagoras to find our diagonals, because that's what we need to find the area of a kite. And take note that the area of the kite is the exact same formula as the area of the rhombus. So I do see a 30, 60, 90 shortcut in here. And I do have enough information to find uh, these other sides in here, which is going to be helpful. So if the side opposite the 30 is something we don't know, and we do know the hypotenuse, though we do know that relationship, it's going to be half the hypotenuse. And the side opposite the 60 is going to be 35 radical 3. So it looks like we know portions of the uh, diagonals in here, and I will also point out that if that is 35 in a kite, the properties tell us this number is going to be 35. So we already know if we're using the formula for a rhombus, one of the diagonals is going to be 70 units altogether because that's 35 plus 35, we got 70. The only thing left to find here is this little purple part, and we're going to combine that with uh, that purple part as well to make um, to sum up the entire diagonal. So one piece of the puzzle we need to kind of connect is the perimeter of the entire kite is 214, but we know some of it already. Some of it's 70, and the other portion is 70. So 70 and 70 is 140. So if I take 214 and subtract 140, it looks like the remaining two sides have a total sum of 74. Like I said, the sum of those two sides is 74. Well, since they're equal, and that's one of the properties of a kite, it looks like this side is 37 and that side is 37. And now we have great news. It looks like now we know two sides of a triangle there. And once we know that, then we can use Pythagoras. So if you use Pythagoras correctly here, 37 squared minus 35 squared, that's going to produce the number 12. So 12 is not the diagonal. Notice the diagonal here. Let me give myself a little more, more room. It's going to be 12 plus 35 radical 3. And I really can't combine the 12 and the 35 radical 3. They're just not uh, considered numbers that we can just kind of push together and simplify. So the only thing left to do here is to um, um, evaluate this um, answer here and simplify to come up with the area of the kite. So half of 70 is 35. And now we're going to use the distributive property. So 35 times 12 is 420. And then 35 times 35 is 1225 a radical 3. And all that is units squared. So that's a tough problem. There's a lot of things to connect properties of a kite, the perimeter of the kite, knowing the formula for area of a kite, understanding how we use our 30, 60, 90 shortcut, and how we use Pythagoras to kind of put it all together. Let's do one more kite in here. Well, once again, the goal is the same. We want to find the area of the kite, and we just need two things. We need to know the diagonal 1 and diagonal 2. And it doesn't look like we know a lot of diagonals right now. We know some of the sides in here. We know that side is 16 radical 2, and so is that one. And we know that this one is 34, and that one's 34. Well, once again, this is golden information in here that the kite's diagonals are always going to be perpendicular. Not only that, I recognize that these two sides are the same. Therefore, we have another shortcut. It's not the 30, 60, 90. That's an isosceles right triangle. That's the 45, 45 right triangle. So when I use that shortcut here, working backwards, if the hypotenuse is 16 radical 2, that means these two legs in here are 16. And the property of a kite tells me that this is going to be 16 altogether. 
excuse me, 16 as well. So when I add up 16 and 16, I got one of the diagonals so far. That is 32. And then you, we're going to take note that this other triangle in here, we know two sides. We know 34, 16, and now we can use our famous Pythagoras in here to find this missing side in here. And when you do that, that's another triple. That's 30, not 30 degrees, that's 30 units long. So now, what do I know about the other diagonal? Well, the other diagonal going from top to bottom here is 16 and 30. That looks like it's 46. So altogether, I'm going to go half of uh, 32, which is 16. Take out my calculator, 16 times 40, whoops, 16 times 16 times 46, that is 736 units squared. So there's our two examples for kites in there. Both are using two different types of shortcuts, 30, 60, 90 for the top one, 45, 45, 90 for the bottom one. We're using Pythagoras in both of them. And I've kind of set up numbers so they were all Pythagoras triples, nice whole numbers. Um, we're simplifying and we're kind of combining all of our properties of a kite all at the same time. That's a pretty intense problems with kites. All right, try connecting it all together and I'll see you soon.